on YouTube, welcome to Upside DIY. This is a Toshiba Windows Windows. Um, this is the power adapter to my Lenovo 8, and this is Toshiba Vista. And it's kind of uh, plugged in with the same adapter as with the other Toshiba DVD rewritable. But I looked uh, it. So it says a DVD, pretty much uh, a nice small suitcase with. I'm pretty sure I've got the little or the shoulder. This is was like a a, 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 a case for like some some tools, but uh, I might use this for, uh, like device, memory cards, you know, just a set, you know, just anything that um, I might be able to carry a. a, a, a a tablet uh, and then um I was gonna, and then there's this suitcase um which has uh most of my tools and stuff uh so and then I turn this suitcase around so uh if I open the cover uh I could kind of uh you know work, uh, kind of fold my way and then I could I could work on some device you know tip check it says RW DVD So sure, but I need a 16.5 volt, 5.5 amp adapter with this type of plug. Printer adapters, and those have different plugs on it. And then I've got these, this suitcase, the one that I just fixed and stuff. So your cameras or, you know, just stuff that's kind of a little old. You got some old gaming controllers. You know, old Linksys, it, it all depends. Or even like some more other types of controllers and cables, um, type of suitcases, really help me organize a lot of things. These two, uh, 9 volts, 4.5 amps. I kind of looked on the sticker, um, 15 inch power book, G4, 10.8 volts. Use them for parts or little uh laptops that i'm break or you know that i'm testing working and then my win windows 8 isn't working and i need and i need to repair the power um i took out the hard drive the dvd rom and also a windows 10 lenovo it it it, t it powers on sometimes but it crashes the tools to try to find any uh you know bad let it dry Use a ma LED magnifying glass and things like that. I'm supposed to try to find any uh, you know bad components and short circuits and things like that. It might be even like a chip. You know, I'm pretty sure it's like a chip or a MOSFET that that is really um. And these lettering. So yeah, I'm gonna do another really look at the lettering. Two amps. 20 volts, 2 amps. I have a few like codes and stuff for uh, the Windows 10, Lenovo 10, because it, it was stuck on and things, but it, it would trying to boot and things, but it, it would want to send, um, you know, an issue to Microsoft and things like that. So kind of uh, in between Nova N585 and You know, it's a little bit more elevated things, and um, yeah, I just have to probably look at some different connectors, or hey, if I'm, you know, just could have. I'm not even sure about uh, how the DVD ROM was working. It was working pretty good, but I can see there's fans. You know, I should work. I just want to try to get this uh, taken apart. Also, I don't really want to use a metal pry tool for something like this, so I just have a piece. I'm going to be recording and pausing, so. Um, so this is a um, I need to get like a, a decent flashlight. Different lights and stuff. I think I'm going to have to, you know, kind of flip it open and put, put and the bin. I kind of moved it in here. Holding the board down. 
So at this point, it's getting stuck like right at where the battery would connect. And I don't see any screws or something. The old laptop, more than 12 years old, but just some a, a good device to fix. This this is probably the best one I've ever. Something's getting caught underneath this, and I even peeled off this little sticker. Maybe there was a screw. Try the next thing is try to pry the bottom off. Try to see if, uh, you know, just like, see, wedge a spatula, and then I took off the, the two little small screws. All right, so that uh, that I just can't see. So I'll be right back. Moved two other ribbons, one was on top, and then there's this chip-like thing. It might be, uh, it was a little loose. And then, um, all right, YouTube, uh, I'm starting to not find this connect why this connector isn't budging at all. It's really hard to see, it's like behind this connect, this socket for the hard drive. Oh man, um. I'm going to uh, repair all types of different things. This isn't the only one, um, but it's, it's, it's you know whenever it's it just gets impossible, like totally hacked to me. It's just like you know, it's not even like making any sense at all that this connector, this power, maybe it moved a little bit. I, I'm not sure. Just you know, and, you know, I'm pushing these little small tabs that don't really do anything. It's, it's just not, you know, to, I don't know. It's just, uh, let me really look harder for one last time. It's, uh, you know, there's like, a, a you know, a couple of cables or, uh, you know, connectors in there uh, that, uh, I can't figure out. I got the, all these ports uh, pulled off of the case. Um, you know, and uh, and things like that. Um, you know, and and I tried the most useful tools. I mean, it's too bad that I got stuck like this. It's just really like. I've got to look online. Maybe that's just how things uh, turn out. You know, reasons. Small screws and things inside of like a little baggie. Um, or even like a candy wrapper. Quite a few things with... I'm going to um, kind of... Uh, leave them is the brushes. I got. A, uh, I found a good deal on Amazon for 10 brushes and I actually had to like use a caliber and like measure the brush and the old brush uh, just broke off I didn't have any spares or anything and this has been in storage and this is how I kind of like store uh, small parts I guess and this screws off or the, these caps there's two there's one on that side the one on the other and um they actually are made out of like a metal or something like that. But uh, the broken brushes are in here. You know, you fold the wrapper up, put a little piece of tape on it. And you can really uh, keep track of little screws and parts. And um, they were, you, you know, they were the exact same kind. I mean, sometimes, and I've got that Dremel and this medium-sized Dremel. So you guys... Um, this drum was really small, um, uh, you know, it, it, it's really some some different things like maybe plastic or, um, but you know, for wood and metal, uh, a stronger Dremel would work a little more. I have like this die grinder and this jigsaw, so 
uh, really good tools uh, for the price and out uh, yesterday and things like that mainly DIY stuff there and then I've got a few suitcases emptied uh, this one is empty it, it, it has some bicycle seats and stuff I was looking for the compact adapter um, 16.5 volts 5.5 amps extra cables and a jumper wire um, I actually need this um, you know some stereo uh, antenna that's another small hint on what I'm ordering and a power cable so um, actually um, suitcases uh, looking for the compact Presario 16.5 volts 5.5 amps um, there's a brown suitcase right there that's empty I could clean that out um, and then I've got this uh, suitcase it has a crack in one corner so I've got to glue, glue that and things like that or maybe have a couple of pieces of fishing line to stir you know sturdy it and strain it out you know it just depends uh, ways to help uh, you know repair stuff or store st uh, I usually want to keep tools in something like this I might have my construction tools like drills and even the rotor zips and dremels all in this one uh, I've got another suitcase right there with a lot of my a few of my Ryobi's I've got the right angle um, pretty good collect decent uh, special tools you can't really find those anymore and things like that um, I'm looking for the battery pack with the cord I might have to make my own but um cases I know it's, it's pretty DIY projects and electronics that uh, I haven't sh really that were just you know covered or you know didn't have this uh, cl space clear to show you guys but uh, you know some some stuff um, you know like caps and all these uh, broken phones that I could find I uh, just kind of take those apart you know maybe and pretty much um you know just have you know just use more random things except for this uh, I have a few screw you know containers of screws in here for hardware and things like that um some costume jewelry some cool costume jewelry that thing uh these I didn't even know I had this and there's a dice in there so Nice um, DIY stuff, and that cardboard box up there is DIY stuff. Then there's some more um, suitcase and things, but uh, I'm gonna be moving this bicycle. I gotta take off this back wheel and patch up the inner tube. Um, it's gonna just be on display. Um, I don't. Well, I'm gonna be moving this. Just you know, I'm gonna lay a piece of cardboard or maybe or maybe this blanket for now, and then um, you know. Get that fixed, maybe store away. I might even try to, well, yeah, at first I gotta fix it if and test everything, but uh, get that fixed, maybe store away. I might even try to, well, yeah, at first I gotta fix it if and test everything, but uh, so, you know, um, two weeks ago, all this I was sorting out, you know, DIY and adapters and stuff, and right here and then now I'm you know finishing this uh, a lot a few things and I've been cleaning this up uh, I cleaned this up actually yesterday uh, you know just got you know just figured out a lot of the bags and how uh, to arrange uh, uh, just random buckets or whatnot of my and just random items DIY items but uh, in here is just like cut plastic like the tops uh, that I use for like funnels or I could grow onions and other um, you know uh, things that I could use things this could be like a small uh, and there are just um, 